Hello everyone and welcome to another episode uh, for the Dev Radio. Today uh, I have a very special friend of mine, uh, Mohit. Uh, me and Mohit are friends uh, for more than more than thirteen years or fourteen years now, I think so. And uh, we have been uh, continually in touch with each other uh, about about the tech world. So I want to welcome Mohit to our show, and uh, I want to give the stage to you to introduce yourself. Thank you, Hatim. Thanks for having me here. And uh, my name is Mohit Chhapra. I work for a company called Configit as a cloud operations manager. My job is to make sure that our SaaS servers are up and running and they are secure. So our client's data, our client's servers are always up to date and they are always secure. That's my job. That is amazing. Uh, so Mohit, uh, you know, we are running this show where we talk about you know how you can actually come in a community how you can contribute more to the community we understand what are the challenges we understand you know how people can contribute more to the community and bring people together and uh, one of the inspiring stories which i personally know and uh, you know uh, you are the best uh, best storyteller in that case is i want to know more about your story uh, how you started uh you know how did you reach to the position which you are in today and i know that you have been talking so I, i've seen some of your sessions in azure uh india where i saw you gave one one uh big session with 2000 plus people uh i saw another uh, one you recently interacted with uh, microsoft reactor so i know you're still active in the community in the other part of the world and i want to understand your story and understand how you actually uh you know still go ahead and contribute it after so many years right uh so currently i'm a microsoft mvp for azure from last five years but uh, my journey started like uh, 10 15 years back this is where we met uh, hatim uh as a msp so msp was a microsoft student partner and uh, i heard about this program from a friend of mine and then i attended a session from few fellow msps there was an event called Dream Spark Yatra back in the days. I attended one of those and I was like, wow. I was flabbergasted the moment I attended it because uh, I saw people like me on the stage who were students but uh, who were passionate about technology and they were sharing some of the cool stuff that uh, they were working on. And I was like, okay, this is something that I wanted to do as well and uh, how I can become an MSP. So I started looking into it and... Uh, I found out that, okay, it's not that difficult. If you are passionate about this, you can also become an MSP. And uh, I became an MSP, then I started contributing. And uh, the idea was to share what you know. So that's a very simple strategy being an MSP or MVP that uh, you just share your knowledge with others and you learn in the journey as well. So I started with it and uh, Immediately, I started contributing on the field of Azure because I heard about Azure at that point of time that this whole concept of cloud computing, a friend of mine who was also an MSP came to me and told me about uh, the concept of cloud. And he said that, okay, remember the servers goes down whenever you have a lot of food. Imagine you can scale up the servers for a specific amount of time. And I'm like, wow. I, I was amazed with that uh, ideology of the cloud and all the scaling and then you only pay for what you're using for that amount of time. I was like, this is going to be interesting, right? So I think this is an actual issue and someone is actually solving this issue. So before that, I wasn't aware of about AWS uh, being the first one, but uh, I jumped into Azure at that point of time when it was fairly new. And since then, I've been building my career in Azure. Uh, talking about community, so... For me, community has always been a very special uh, place in my life, in my career as well. Um, I got my first job from the community. So I was active in the forums. I was active in the forums. I, was, uh, I would uh, go out and then share with uh, other people how, what I've been working on, what I know, and answering their questions. And uh, I saw a post and then... Uh, from uh, one of the directors of a company, he posted it out and uh, about our tool that they have built on Azure Media Services. And uh, I looked into the architecture and they pointed out a mistake in the comments. 
So I put a comment on the post and said that, okay, this looks wrong. This could have been done in a better way by using some other services. Uh, so they immediately saw me and they reached out to me and uh, asked me that, what do I do? And I'm, I told them, I'm, I'm a fresher, I'm looking for a job. So because I had some experience with uh, the community, um, learning about the cloud and then sharing my stuff, so they offered me a job right out of it. And uh, that's how I started my career. Um, so after that as well, I've been constantly in touch with the community. So I've been going out and sharing my knowledge with uh, other people. And uh, my last job, uh, so I was working in India. And at one point I thought, okay, um, I want to put my career to next level. So this is the time. And uh, I started talking to one of the fellow MVPs who was in uh, Germany. And uh, we just were having a discussion. And uh, he said that we need, I need someone like you who is uh, well versed with Azure. And I told him that, okay, I know someone who is uh, like me and that's actually me. So <laughs> that's, that's the whole interview conversation that we had and then next thing i saw i was uh, in germany so i got uh, another opportunity in my career because of the community because the fellow uh, ceo of that company was also an mvp and a microsoft rd so it was an easier journey so i didn't have to go through the interview processes and all because uh, with the mvp title you also bring some sort of a credibility to your profile so right. it was an easier transition for me to move here and then after that, uh, I've been contributing in the local communities. And uh, when, uh, that's how I, I basically uh, learn as well. So one of the things that I do personally, and it's been a mantra for me from the last 10, 12 years, is whenever I have a big session, I make sure that I don't present on the things that I'm working on, which is counterintuitive because uh, in order to present, to someone you need to know that topic at a level 300 if you have to present at level 200. I agree. So what I do is I put it as a challenge and uh, I kind of jump on the new uh, services that is you're always launching or uh, new offering that we have. And um, I basically jump on those services, try to learn about it because I have already committed out that I'm going to present on that topic. So like, like, every other engineer out there like i do it a uh, couple of days or the on the last day itself before the session but i made sure that i go into that level where i can um present out to the community but uh, because i have to present it out i have to learn it and that's how i've been learning throughout my journey and that has helped my career tremendously because i have grown um in my career making sure that i've been learning throughout this journey and uh, and I'm not confined to the idea of uh, what I've been working on. I should only know that. So I've been expanding my horizon just because uh, I have this opportunity to present it out to other people. Um, so I've been learning on the different aspects that I could see, even when I'm that not is, working on it. Yeah. So that is actually a very great perspective. So first of all, I want to relate to you know to to your story is yes i think we all started from the dream spark yatra i had a similar experience of you know attending a dream spark yatra and then going forward now uh you made an uh, made a very interesting point and you know i i wanted to have a question related to that that you mentioned that you you pick up technologies in the community which you are not comfortable with right now yeah. in that case what is like you know uh i uh if I have to choose a technology which I don't know and what kind of experiences would I get? So, for example, I picked an XYZ technology which I want to present next week and I'm stuck in stuck up with, you know, some or the other thing and I'm not able to, you know, to know how that works. What is the go to point you feel that you can actually go and check uh, about about the place where you're stuck in? Right. Uh, so that's the power of community again, right? Even if I, I am stuck, I can reach out to people in the community and ask them for help. Like uh, you, in fact, right? Uh, if I'm stuck and I can reach out to you, hey, Hatim, can you help me out with this topic? I'm like kind of stuck. Can you just give me a guidance on how, where should I go or how should I navigate through this issue? And 
the best part about community is that by the essence of community itself, everyone is helpful. So it's not just about presenting, it's about creating an impact, but also helping other people out when they're stuck. So the community is to make sure that you share your knowledge, not just by presenting it out, but also answering the questions that people are putting in the forums or like helping them out with the guidance. So that is great. This, so, so, you know, it actually closes the loop in that case, right? So yeah, right. you contribute, you take help from others as well, and they contribute as well in, in different forms of, uh, of uh, the process. Now, uh, you were saying something about, uh, about, you know, contributing to forums. Now, what are the places or a go-to place for a developer where he can actually go to seek help? If I'm new to the community today, right? If I'm uh, just take an example that someone... Uh, got a new job as a fresher in Germany. Uh, what what are the places he can actually go to get this information? Because you know, in in the past, I had a lot of uh, questions about. Uh, uh, so recently, last week, I met some some people in the community, and they were like, uh, "Oh, I didn't knew this kind of events are happening," and uh, uh, you know, they were looking for something similar for a year. And somehow they stumbled upon this uh, this session and they came to our session. So how do we bridge that gap, Mohit? And how do we how do we make sure that you know more and more people who are new to the community they come and join us and they can actually then experience themselves of how we run the community or you know what is the actual benefit of being in the community? Right. Um, so yeah, identifying the local community is very important. Um, so you can have two kind of communities. I would define it into two categories. One is online uh, and another is offline. So online is where you can put your questions uh, and then talk to people online. Like you can go to Stack Overflow, Microsoft communities, uh, Microsoft forums and put your questions and there will be people from Microsoft or from the community who will answer your questions. But uh, then we have the offline communities as well. So Phil, with the uh, offline, uh, I think the easiest way is to search for a user group, maybe go for in go to meetup and then search for it or just uh, uh, search on your search engine about uh, the local user groups that you have. So if you're working on Microsoft technologies, and I hope that will be the case if you're listening to this podcast, right? Uh, so search for Microsoft user group uh, and your location, and you will be stumbled upon the local community that you have. Uh, join the community, and then you will be you will be updated with the upcoming events, the local events. Go to these events, talk to people, because these are the people who are actually working on the same tech as you are. So you will find like-minded people, and then you will have a connection with them. So you can always reach out to them and then build a community and be part of the community as well. So I think, yeah, that is that is more important. So uh, if, if I ask you, what is your go-to place in Germany right now? Where do you actually... Uh, what is the online community you follow and you be a part of it? And what are the other communities you actually contribute to? Right. Uh, so I have built one of the biggest Azure communities online. Uh, so I have around 52,000 uh, engineers from over the world uh, as part Amazing. of it. So it's on the Facebook called Microsoft Azure for Beginners, where 4 is in numeric. Um, I started this community around 10 years back and now it has grown to more than 50,000 engineers from over the world. And uh, that is for me the my go-to place because I manage that community. I run that community as well. So that's my first go-to place. But apart from that, uh, the local communities as well, we can get in touch with the local community leaders and then uh, make sure that uh, you're attending these events and then it's, it's a full loop. So you basically start from attending it, then you reach out to the organizers if you want to present it out. So you go from attendee to a speaker as well. So it's an open communities all over the world. So it's not that uh, you can only attend as an attendee, but if you know the organizer, you can reach out to them and then share your vision about what you want to present on or how do you want to share your knowledge with others. And the next thing you know, you will get an opportunity to be in the stage and then share your knowledge with others. So I think I can do one more thing is uh, I can take your uh, uh, session link and I can I can put it in the show description as well. So for our audience to, to join in. 
for sure that is great uh you, you were saying something uh, i'm sorry i uh, i i didn't knew that you were speaking something else as well no i i was just closing that line that's it uh, okay okay so uh so yeah that is uh, that is one good thing which which i personally you know would go to next time so i didn't knew that you're running this big community <laughs> so i i should go now and you know join that community as well now what are your tips and tricks uh, uh for for new people who want to be a part of the community what they should do like you know you have your own uh, uh mantra of taking one technology which you are not sure about you learn that end to end and then you go ahead and present it what are different other different trips uh, you would want to give to other developers who are new to the community no i think uh, this mantra worked for me but i don't think it should work for everyone uh, so everyone has their own niche i think uh, to start with to build a confidence in you where you can go out and present and then or go out and share your knowledge i think play on your strength that's some pretty fine um if you know about one technology if you're working on a specific technology this is where your confidence is so go out and then uh, present on that share your knowledge on that answer questions on those uh, technology itself build that web of confidence where you can go out and present on something which you are not that confident about or which on which technologies you are not working on a day to day basis but i think start from your strength because uh, once you are working on your strengths and then uh, then you can think about uh, like filling in, in your weaknesses so right now i would say that okay start on your strength the technologies that you're working on focus on them contribute on them and then from there you can build your own journey so once once you are on to that level you will figure it out how to navigate it to so there is no single Got mantra it. for even like like i share for myself that uh, i try to jump on technologies which i am not comfortable with but uh, what of people doesn't do that so it's their own journey but i think start from your strengths that is great so uh, one other resource mohit if you would if you would like to give our developers give us one resource which you would feel that is beneficial for all developers where do you learn things from <laughs> microsoft well i'm not kidding um so in the last 5 10 years i think uh, microsoft has uh, microsoft learn has improved drastically so it has uh, self learning parts so you can identify based on your job goals and uh, based on that uh, or your keen interests you can navigate through all the course contents and then through the self learning exercise or hands on exercise in that you can basically become from beginner to intermediate level, uh and also some for some courses to the expert level as well so i would highly recommend these microsoft learn courses because these are free and these are indeed the best resources out there on internet so i think uh, i i think our audiences doesn't know one small part of this is the courses which are or the articles which you see on microsoft learn and microsoft docs are also a part of the community so if you if you go to any one of the docs you will see the number of people who are contributing and today if you go in and you feel that you know something is updated or you feel that something has to be updated over there you can actually go ahead and raise a pull request and that can be a part of the official docs of microsoft so it's it's not like someone in microsoft is actually uh, you know writing all the stuff but it is all community which is coming together and you know contributing to to modules and to the documents which are which are there on the docs so uh, that's uh, that's one of the things which i will also share in the in the show description that you know uh, where where can actually uh, developers go and start learning that uh, this is a very nice talk uh, mohit i i just got one last question i know we are running over time but uh, <laughs> uh, so when when we talk about learning right uh, how does certifications play a role in this does uh, uh, do you feel that it's a good validation of what you learned or you feel that community gives you a good validation after you learn that new technology no i think certification is a very good way of uh, knowing that uh, what you have been learning is correct or you are up to that level of expertise uh, to be called an expert in that uh, technology 
So I think uh, certifications has helped me a lot. And this is what I tell to my team as well, to make sure that every single time you get an opportunity to go at, do a certification, go for it. And uh, right now, um, I think uh, Microsoft has streamlined the certifications based on the job roles recently in the last few years. And I think it's it helps a lot uh, because you might think that you know a lot, but apparently you might not. Once you sit in that exam, that exams give you a criteria to make sure that uh, you understand that technology from another aspect and another point of view as well, which you might not when you're just working on your systems or your environments, because you might be thinking in a confined way, uh, looking at your environments in your setups, in your um, infrastructure or in your code. But uh, when you go for these certifications, you identify the different scenarios that can happen and then your brain explodes. So like, oh, I couldn't think of these kind of possibilities initially, but I think uh, this all makes sense. So I think it's about uh, widening your horizon and uh, certification, I think, helps in doing that. That is great. So, you know, uh, just to let the audience know, we could actually talk all day about this. <laughs> And, uh, you know, uh, it's it's such a, uh, uh, you can say, the bonds which are developed in the community are last longing. So uh, just to give uh, the audience a context, like I'm from Mumbai, Mohit is from uh, New Delhi, and it's too far if you see the geographical locations, right? And still now, uh, Mohit is based out in Germany, I'm based out in UAE, but we still have that connection and that started from the community. So... Uh, and and rightly said, you know, uh, when when we when we go ahead, understand the benefits of the community, uh, it's like you know you can uh, you can reach to new heights, you can develop your own self, you can help others, uh, you can land opportunities, networking. Then there are there are so many things to you know to talk about. And one of the examples is in front of you by you know having both of us together. So uh, I would just thank Mohit, uh, thank you uh, for coming on our show and sharing. Uh, very valuable insights and it's always good to talk to you uh, uh, at, at all instances and we should do something together. I'm, I'm hoping that you come to Dubai and we do something uh, in person over here. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> and sure. uh, and uh, thanks a lot audience for, uh, for joining us. I will go ahead and share a QR code on the screen where you can go ahead and join the Azure community. I will share Mohit's uh, LinkedIn go ahead and connect with him, get more insights and more information from Mohit. Uh, I'll also share the community which he leads